Okay, so now um, you will have an assignment where um, I am going to provide all of the indicators. I'm going to provide what mastery is for each of those indicators according to the rubric. Um, and I'll provide examples for each of the indicators, things that you might do at your house or um, at church or anything like that. Um, what you need to do is uh, you'll have to write one to three examples for each indicator um, of something you've done this school year. So for um, creativity and innovation, if you came to the uh, fall bash, we made um, kites. That counts as creativity and innovation. If you do stuff like that at home, um, if you made the uh, ornaments with me, creativity and innovation. There's a lot of things that fit in that category. Um, but I'll give more examples on the paper. Um, like I said, you'll have to have one, two, three examples of something you've done this school year that fits in each category. Um, and each time that you give an example, you need four to six sentences explaining that. How you mastered it. So that's why I'll include the rubric because you'll want to use some of that vocabulary um, so that you know, yes, I completed mastery in this because the rubric says mastery is this and that's what I did. Okay. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I would suggest is doing it on um, a Google Documents because later we will have to put this in um, What's it called? In tote. Last year we used a different program. This year we're using tote. Right now you're just going to write it in a Google document so that you'll have it forever. And then um, once we start using tote, all you'll have to do is copy and paste it into the tote. Okay, that's it.